In this video, you will learn the most important ethical hacking tools that hackers use to exploit a system. First, we will learn how to find hidden files and directories with GoBuster. Then we are going to learn how to scan ports with Nmap. Next, we are going to learn how to brute force login credentials with Hydra and scan for website vulnerabilities with Nikto. And finally, we will learn how to use Metasploit to gain a shell. For the format of this video, and for you to understand which tool to use after which, I will be solving the challenge to the rust from try hack me. But you do not have to solve this challenge. The main purpose of this video is to understand each of the tools individually. So let's get started. So I'm in my Kali Linux right now. I'm connected to the try hack me network with my open VPN. I have already started the machine and got my target IP address. And if I scroll down, I can see the first question is what directory can you find that begins with G. So if I copy the IP address, and paste it in my browser, I can see there is a website running on port 80. If I view the page source, I do not get much information. So let's see if there are hidden directories and files of this website. So I'll copy the URL, open my terminal and use the tool GoBuster. GoBuster is a tool that searches for hidden files and directories of a website. Now to use the tool, type the command GoBuster dir for directories dash u for URL and then paste the URL and specify your word list with dash w space write the full path to your word list this is the path to my word list so after typing this command press enter and gobuster will start after the directory busting has been completed i can see gobuster was able to find two directories server status is not important as it contains the information about the web server only so the first directory guidelines is the answer to the first question what directory can you find that begins with g and if I go to the guidelines directory, I can see it says, Hey Bob, did you update the Tomcat server? So with this, I know that there is a user called Bob and there is a server running somewhere, which is a Tomcat server. The username Bob looks like important information. We can use this username in our brute forcing attack. And this username is also the answer to the second question. Whose name can you find from this directory? It is Bob. Our GoBuster was able to find one more information. It is the protected directory. So if I copy the name of the directory and add it to my URL, I can see it is asking me for a username and a password. We can use Hydra to brute force. As we already know, the username is Bob. Let's see what the question says. What directory has basic authentication? It is protected. The next question is, what is Bob's password to the protected part of the website? So in the protected directory, I have to brute force the password. So in my terminal, I will use the tool Hydra. So I'll type the command Hydra dash lowercase l and I already know the username is Bob. If I did not know the username and provided a file which contains a list of usernames, I would have typed dash capital L and the name of my file which contains the list of usernames. But in this case, I know the username is Bob. That's why dash lowercase l Bob. And since I do not know the password, it will be dash capital P and the path to my password file. I will use the rocky.txt. Rocky.txt contains the list of the most commonly used passwords. Next, I will paste my target IP address. And since this type of login pop-ups are get requests, I will type http dash get and the directory which is slash protected. And finally, I will type dash capital V. It means verbose. I want to see each of the login attempt and if I press enter, I can see Hydra has started and Hydra was able to successfully crack the password for the username Bob. This is the password bubbles, which is the answer to this question. Now if I use the username Bob and the password bubbles, I can see the protected directory, but it says this protected page has now moved to a different port. So we have to check what other ports are open and if there are any other websites running to scan ports we can use the tool nmap so i will type the command nmap dash s capital s this is a stealthy scan this means it is harder to trace back to your ip space i want the scan to be aggressive with dash capital a dash capital a will try to detect os version number of the services running and also check for vulnerabilities space dash capital t5 I want the timing to be the fastest, T0 is the slowest and T5 is the fastest but T5 is a more noisy scan. I'm okay with this since this is not real world hacking and paste my target IP address. 
and press enter and after the scanning is completed i can see which ports are open and which services are running like port 22 is open and ssh is running port 80 is open and http is running this is the website that we were interacting until now port 1234 is open and http is open it is running apache tomcat and it also gives us exactly which tomcat version is running so i can confirm Another website is running in the port 1234 and it is running the service Apache Tomcat 7.0.88 So I'll copy the version and if I check the questions again What other port that serves a web service is open on the machine? It is 1234 and what is the name and version of the software running on the port from question 5? So in the port 1234 Apache Tomcat 7.0.88 is running So let's go to this port And I can confirm it is indeed running the Apache Tomcat server. I can again check what hidden directories and files are on this website. Similar to step 1, so I'll copy the URL. In my terminal, type gobuster dir dash u for URL, paste the URL dash w and specify my word list and press enter. And I can see gobuster has started. I just want to mention, before you start using the hacking tools, it is extremely important that you're comfortable with the Kali Linux command line. So if you're not comfortable with the Kali Linux command, then click the first link in the description box and you will get the full Kali Linux cheat sheet for completely free. This cheat sheet includes all the essential commands for your day-to-day -day task. So if you get stuck, you do not have to google every time. So click on the first link in the description box to get this cheat sheet. After the scanning is completed, I can see there is a manager directory. If I copy the name and add it to my URL, I can see I'm logged into a Tomcat web application manager and I'm redirected to the manager HTML path. Let's see what the question says. So we have to use Nikto with the credentials and scan the manager HTML directory on the port found above. So I'll copy the full path in my terminal, type Nikto space dash h for host and paste the URL. Since I already know the username and password, I will do a authenticated scanning with dash id space in double quotation, the username first which is bob colon the password which is bubbles so after the nikto scanning has been completed i get the server version i got the same information with nmap scan 2 and i can see the other web vulnerabilities this website has so if i check the questions the question says how many documents i don't know if there is a typo here but i think the question is asking for documentation files and we got five documentation files so 5 was the correct answer. What is the server version? I can see it is this one. So I'll copy this and paste it. So the answer is wrong. The question is not clear. Maybe it is asking for the server version of the other website that was running. So if I go to Nikto again and scan port 80, I can see this is the server version Apache 2.4.18. So I'll copy this and paste it. And the answer was correct. What version of Apache Coyote is the service using? It is 1.1. The questions are formatted in a weird way. Anyway, we now have to use Metasploit to exploit the service and get a shell on the system. So I'll start Metasploit framework with the command msf console. After Metasploit framework starts, I will search for Tomcat because I know the server is running Apache Tomcat and I will search for an exploit by typing type colon exploit and i can see in the result i get few different exploit the exploit i'll be using is this one which is tomcat manager upload and i will use this exploit because i can do a authenticated upload code execution as i can already authenticate with the username bob and the password bubbles so the exploit number is 16 so i'll type use 16 and if i check the parameters with show options i can see first i have to specify a password so I'll copy this and type set paste it which is HTTP password and I know the password is bubbles. Next we need to set the username which is bob. The our host will be the target IP. So type set our host and paste the target IP. We also need to set the our port as the website is hosted on port 1234. So I'll type set our port 1234 and we are done. The L host is currently set. This is my IP. The L port number is also okay. We don't need to change it. Now if I type run, I can see the exploit is running and we got the interpreter shell. If I check which user I'm logged in as by typing get UID, I can see 
I'm logged in as the root user. If I change to the root directory and cat out root.txt, sorry, the name of the file is flag.txt. So if I cat out flag.txt, I get the final flag. What user did you get a shell as? It is root. And the challenge is completed. If you want to see separate videos on each of the tools, please let me know in the comment section below. So that is for the end of the video. If you like this video and want to watch more content related to Kali Linux or ethical hacking, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.